Music legend Whitney Houston death has been ruled an accidental drowning from heart disease and cocaine use. And for the very latest on this stunning autopsy, which is just in, and also the toxicology report, let's go straight to CNN correspondent Kareen Winter, who's outside the L.A. coroner's office. Kareen, what do we know tonight? Well, Rita, we definitely have some new information to fill you in on. Um, according to Los Angeles County coroners, there was acute cocaine use uh, in the time period prior to Whitney Houston's collapse at the hotel room, meaning it obviously was found in her system and that she consumed cocaine a short time before getting into that bathtub and subsequently drowning. Uh, there are so many questions right now as to whether or not Whitney Houston had an actual heart attack. Sure, she had heart disease, but was there a heart attack that occurred? According to officials, they say they're not able, Rita, to specifically determine if Houston actually died of a heart attack, but they say something occurred that caused her to slip under that water and drown. They added cocaine can, of course, trigger a heart attack. Um, another thing that they added was that Whitney Houston's well-known drug history over time contributed to her heart disease. Was alcohol a factor here? There were so many reports that Houston consumed alcohol the days leading up to her death, even the day that she died. Well, they say there was an, a minimal amount that it was not a contributing factor here. The toxicology report, Rita, was ready midweek this week. Family members were notified today. Uh, no reaction from the family. We asked officials that, but the detailed toxicology report that will have the doctor's findings, more on the autopsy, the level of drugs in her system and where things stood at the time of her death, that will be released, Rita, in the next couple weeks. And Dorothy Cassisari from In Touch Weekly, there was also a, basically it seemed like a cauldron in Whitney Houston's system, according to this toxicology report just in. As we just heard from Grant, obviously cocaine in her system, but there was a lot more in her system, too. There absolutely was a lot more in her system, Reader. You're exactly correct. Uh, they found marijuana in her system. They found a muscle relaxer, Benadryl. They found Xanax, which is an anti-anxiety drug. Uh, and all of those things really relax your body and really allow you to go into a peaceful-like state. And so it definitely, you know, makes sense that those things were found. Don Lemon, uh, no cocaine, though, in the hotel room. This is very significant, don't you think? Yeah, it is very significant, and people are going to wonder, and of course investigators are going to wonder where she got the cocaine from, because as you heard Kareen say, it was consumed shortly before her death. How, how, how much time before her death, we're not sure. But here's what's interesting to me, and I have to tell you, I spoke with Ed Winter, the assistant chief coroner. Here's what he said to me, and that, this, this report specifically says drowning, the effects of arteriosclerotic heart disease and cocaine use. He said to me, I said, which one? Which one, coroner, was the overriding contributor? What about the other substances found in her system? He said, all of them, Rita. I said, well, what do you mean? He said, she was taking a bath, she had a heart attack, she was taking co cocaine, and she went under the water. So according to uh, Ed Winter, when I spoke to the coroner, he believes that she, in fact, did have a heart attack, and that was a contributing factor to her death, and cocaine is also listed. Listen, she drowned. But had she not had years of abuse on her body from cocaine use, years of abuse on her body, on her heart from cocaine use, she would not have slipped under the water. So don't get this mistaken and twisted and saying, you know, Whitney Houston died because she drowned. Yes, that was the cause of death. But the other things contributed to it. Abuse contributed to Whitney Houston's death, her abuse of a lethal drug, cocaine.